morning, everybody. It's my honor to be here today as we recognize and celebrate police officers and members of our community for acts of bravery and remarkable community service. Policing is a very challenging profession, but we're very fortunate in the city of Vancouver that for the past 130 years, since 1886, we've had such hardworking men and women who dedicate their lives to keeping Vancouver safe, risking their own personal safety to assist total strangers in their time of need. While everybody's at home at bed, at night sleeping, police officers are out there 24-7 responding to 911 calls, heading into often dangerous situations and keeping the public safe. I think it's easy in a free and democratic society to take things like that for granted. And with Vancouver being such a safe city, I think we do take it for granted sometimes, but we really shouldn't. I'm proud of each and every one of the officers that's here today. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the ceremony. As mentioned, we will start with the awards of merit. On the afternoon of January 5th, 5th, 2015, Kena Sato and Jessica Ternowski were walking across the Broad Street Bridge when they saw a man climb onto the protective railing intending to jump to his death. For their selfless, brave actions and for saving the life when many others chose to stand outside the fray, Jessica Ternowski and Kana Sato are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award of civilian bravery, the Award of Merit. When a police officer needs assistance, they can't always count on members of the public to come to their aid, but they can if Garrett Allen Hopper is nearby. For running to the aid of a police officer without hesitation or thought of his own safety, Garrett Allen Hopper is awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Award of Merit. It is difficult to predict how one might react hearing a young woman's screams in the middle of the night while walking down a city street. For James Curry, that reaction was pure instinct. Without any concern for his own safety, he quickly approached where the screams were coming from and found a man attacking a woman who was laying on the ground. For running toward danger and stopping the attack and sexual assault of a young woman and giving valuable information that led to the identification and arrest of the person responsible, James Curry is awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Award of Merit. Most parents try their best to ensure their children grow up to be model citizens. Witnessing that become a reality, it's priceless. When the Haddens set out for the airport on August 5th, 2014, looking forward to their family vacation, they could not have imagined the detour their day would take. For coming to the assistance of a fellow citizen and alleviating her suffering without any concern for their own safety, Brian and Graham Haddon are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Award of Merit. Vancouver Police Constables Mangott and Martin were called to the Vancouver Convention Center on September 23, 2015 for a report of a man causing a disturbance. When the officers tried to speak to him, he attacked them. David Green was walking by when he spotted the struggle. With no thought for his personal safety, he didn't hesitate to join the melee for risking serious injury to help two Vancouver police officers struggling to arrest a violent man. David Green is awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Award of Merit. It was the afternoon of October 11th, 2014, a perfect day for a walk, as Jonathan Fain and Michelle Young approached the mid-span of the Bird Street Bridge. They were alarmed to see a woman climbing over the railing. Without hesitation, they rushed towards her, grabbing hold as she struggled to break free. For their selfless and heroic actions in the face of grave danger, Jonathan Fain and Michelle Young are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Award of Merit. This civilian award recognizes a citizen who has made an outstanding contribution towards crime prevention and improving safety at the community and neighborhood levels. For over 17 years, Ms. Adrienne Bellage has worked to make South Vancouver a safe place to live and work beginning as a volunteer with the South Vancouver Community Policing Centre and becoming the Executive Director in 1998. She led the organization from its modest beginnings to its status today as a major non-profit community safety organization boasting more than 150 volunteers. A Chief Constable Unit Citation is defined as two or more members, police or civilian, working together. For diligent and sustained effort in the performance of their duties, 
well above that which is normally expected or for an outstanding performance in relation to a single investigation, operation, or incident. As well, for developing a method or program that significantly affects the operation of one or more divisions in the department. We live in a high-tech world with high-tech crime. It takes a certain type of police officer to combat criminals and terrorists who use cell phones and computers. In 2007, Detective Constable Les Ray developed the investigative technique of using a virtual machine to copy a suspect's seized hard drive so evidence could be viewed remotely by investigators. This is a technique now used by police agencies all over the world. For groundbreaking investigative techniques and long-term sustained performance at an expert level since 1999, and for their exceptional dedication, skill, and judgment under extreme increases in workload and information overloads. The following members of the Technological Crime Unit are awarded the Chief Constable's Unit Citation. Sergeant Wayne Dory, Detective Constable John Bjornson, Tom Callahan, Mark Fenton, Tim Greenwood, John Piper, Tim Ward, Les Ray, and Nancy Yingling. On the morning of February 12th, 2014, police were called to an apartment where a mentally disturbed man was trying to kill himself with a knife. For demonstrating the highest level of courage and commitment to saving a life while using the least violent means necessary, the following members have been awarded the Chief Constable's Unit Citation. Constable Zachary Fedora, David Hopp, Calvin Hattan, Chris Koch, Indrajit Warich, and Nurse Carlene McDonald. Imagine the desperation of a 17-year-old boy who is so intent on killing himself that he climbs over the outside of a railing on a bridge. A determined group of VPD officers were going to make sure he did not succeed. Vancouver Police received a 911 call around 2.30 in the morning on May 28, 2015, reporting a young man mid-span on the Camby Bridge on the outside of the railing. For working as a team, rushing into chilly and contaminated water in the middle of the night to save the life of a distraught young man and ensuring everyone returned safely home, the following officers were awarded the Chief Constable's Unit Citation. Sergeant Mark Christensen, Constable Eric Jordan, James Leishman, and Emily Ovington. We will now present the Chief Constable's commendations. The Vancouver Police Department's Chief Constable's commendations can be awarded to police officers and civilian staff who demonstrate over the course of a single investigation, operation, or incident their skill, judgment, dedication, or integrity in the performance of their duty, or from demonstrating the highest standards of police conduct or humanitarianism in a single operation, incident, or investigation or for the diligent and sustained effort in the performance of duties, or for developing a method or program that has a positive effect on the operation of the department. When the 911 call came in from a witness who saw a car driving into the water from the Vanier boat ramp, Constables Ishmael Baba and Nicholas Wong responded in minutes. And finally, when he realized what was happening, he hit the gas instead of the brakes. For rushing into the freezing water in the dark of night, rescuing an elderly man, elderly man and his dog from a sinking car, Constables Ishmael Baba and Nicholas Wong are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. Constables Cameron McKay and Indrajit Warich were driving back to the crime scene after taking a break when they saw a car they had linked to a possible suspect. They immediately began to follow the car but the driver started driving recklessly in an attempt to avoid arrest. Constable Rich Lee, a police dog handler, heard the call and, the knew, and knew there was an urgent need to so stop the suspected murderer before he could hurt anyone else. For their quick actions and bravery in identifying and capturing a brutal murderer, Constables Rich Lee, Cameron McKay, and Indrajit Warich are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. It is the anguish and pain of not knowing where your loved one or family member is or what has happened to them that drives people to the VPD's missing persons unit. Finding the answers to their questions and dealing, with compa dealing compassionately with their anguish is the job of Detective Constable Raymond Payette. Few, if any, have done better. 
for solving the many mysteries that haunt those left behind, and for his unassuming determination and commitment to duty, Detective Constable Raymond Payette is awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. While police officers mentally prepare for any number of emergencies that might come their way, encountering a life-threatening fire and rescuing residents from a burning building is not a common scenario that they contemplate. For running into a burning building to rescue residents from serious injury or death without concern for their own personal safety and suffering injuries as a result, Constables Greg Bismeyer, John Gravengard, Tejinder Parmar, and Nicholas Thompson are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. In the morning hours of December 5th, 2014, a man walked into a Surrey grocery store and stabbed one of the employees. He fled into a passenger seat of a vehicle parked outside, brandishing a large butcher knife. He forced the man behind the wheel to drive. He was arrested for kidnapping, assault with a weapon, assault causing bodily harm, flight from police, and dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. For doggedly pursuing a dangerous suspect, despite serious injury and life-threatening danger, Councils Brian Lacane, Neil Logan, and Simran Horikabal were the Chief Constable's commendation. It was July 22nd, 2015, when Constables Viet Huang and Paul Hobbs were nearing the end of their night shift and their work week. A robbery call came in, and despite working a different, in a different district, they raced to the scene to assist. For placing themselves in grave danger to pursue an armed suspect and demonstrating admirable dev devotion to their duty, Constables Viet Huang and Paul Hobbs are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. On June 15, 2013, just after 5 p.m., Sergeant Malcolm Evanson and Acting Sergeant Christopher Glanville were on routine patrol near 8th, East 8th Avenue and Fort Victoria Drive. The officers thought they would, could faintly smell smoke and were instantly on alert. For rushing into a burning building, navigating through thick smoke and extreme heat to rescue residents, Sergeant Malcolm Evanson, Acting Sergeant Christopher Glanville, and now Sergeant John Ward are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. When Detective Constable Ma came to the VPD drug unit, he quickly learned that while suspects were being criminally charged, their assets from illegal activities were left untouched. In essence, while they might go to jail, in many cases, they were still allowed to profit from their crimes. For righting an injustice and working within the law to make criminals pay, exemplifying the VPD's commitment to communities, public safety, and the victims of crime, Detective Constable Dwayne Ma is awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. Anyone who knows Sergeant Kevin Bernardin is aware of his lifelong admiration for the superhero, Batman. While Vancouver may not be Gotham City, we still have our superheroes, and Sergeant Bernardin would definitely qualify. Every organization dreams of having this kind of leader, one who exemplifies commitment, passion, and dedication both within the VPD and the community. For consistently demonstrating exceptional skill, judgment, dedication, and integrity, and for leading with compassion and commitment, Sergeant Kevin Bernardin is awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. We will now present the 2015 Police Officer of the Year Award. Since its inception in 1987, Vancouver Police Department's members have annually recognized one of their own and as a Police Officer of the Year. In spring each year, VPD members are invited to nominate fellow officers whom they think exemplify excellence at work, outstanding service to the community, and demonstrated leadership. Nominations are detailed and contain supportive evidence and examples under each of the three categories listed above. The nominations are reviewed by the Commendation Board and votes are cast. For the first time, we are presenting this award at our annual accommodation ceremony. I am pleased to announce that Constable Sam Primorano, K-9 Unit, Emergency Response Section, has been selected as the 2015 Vancouver Police Officer of the Year. For continuously going beyond the call, improving the service to the v that the VPD provides to the public, and for making the City of Vancouver a safer place, Constable Sam Primorano is our 2015 
Police Officer of the Year.